Blackfest for a couple of years now. Um, the last three years have been quite trying. But we thank God that we're able to gather once more. We understand. Yeah. Once upon a time, time to time, they couldn't do this. No, 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 no. You watch from your home. Yeah, it's virtual. With joyful joy on the Zoom. Yeah. Everything was on Zoom. We zoomed in and zoomed out. Yeah. I didn't know I'd post on Zoom until I did. So our MC is Chico. Everybody clap, eight clap, because they don't clap. Because they say clap, no, just saying. And that's why they asked us to air clap, because you can't clap on Zoom, so just snap. Welcome to LaFest 2023. This is a variety show to raise funds uh, to kick malaria out of Nigeria. Yes, it's possible for us to kick malaria out of Nigeria. And this event is happening today, um, 25th of April, which happens to be World Malaria Day. Now, the theme for this year is Zero, zero Malaria. Um, invest, innovate, and implement. Yes, we can do it together. We can fight malaria. That's why we are here today live at W Bar to celebrate with Osas Igodaro, who is the convener of this event tonight. Uh, for those of you who do not know what Lab Fest is about, this was, this is from, um, if, you, if you know Osas, of course, when we have to get Osas, Osas is someone who's always done everything she does from the heart. This is literally um, a cause that she has been sort of an avid supporter and spearheader of fighting malaria um, and there's a personal reason for her but she's always tried to raise money this girl will go during the year she'll go to different outreaches try to get awareness out there about mosquito net and mosquito you know in nigeria everyone has malaria if you check yourself like have malaria no you just go there just go to the chemist and say check me for malaria there's malaria now whether it's plus or plus plus, we don't know. But there must be this standard in our body. It's like malaria comes with us. You're from Nigeria. You must have malaria. I do. It's in our blood. Thanks. Thank you. Welcome to Love Fest. This is your first time um, attending Love Fest. Yes, it is. Wow, that's quite interesting. Tell me, what, what do you have in mind? Because I'm sure you must have heard people say things about La Fest, right? I quite know a lot about La Fest. Um, you know, I've always got an invitation every year, but I've always been on set working, and it's sometimes always last minute, and I cannot get out of other engagements. But when she invited me this year, I told her, I'm going to make sure that I'm here to support you. I love what she's doing, and... You know, it's just my support for her. Yeah. So today is special because April 25th is World Malaria Day and it's no surprise that this is happening today. And um, the theme says um, Zero Malaria, Innovate, um, Implement and um, Invest. That is the theme for this year. So I want to ask you, uh, how, how many times do you treat malaria in a year? How many times? Do you treat malaria in a year? I'm treating malaria right now. Really? Wow. <laughs> have you heard of the new malaria vaccine? No, I haven't. Do they have one? They actually launched it today, right? Yeah. So we don't know how much to cost. We don't know. They say it's 77%. Uh, of course, it's no freezing vaccine. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so it's effective. I might try. Yeah. So I want to ask you what what is the ways? What are the ways or the efforts you put into prevent malaria? I know it's hard in Lagos especially. But tell me what are those efforts you put in place? The first thing, cleanliness, you know, when 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 everywhere is clean and you know the gutters are taken care of, you know, disposals that gets rid of uh, mosquitoes you know you just have to find a way of balance through it but i don't even leave my doors open for mosquitoes but for for some reason you know so it's i i think it's just gonna have to take a lot of research um and hopefully they don't drag their feet to to find in better ways to manage the country my dear, look, this is the shock of your climate. Hello. Because if you should fall down, all the words we say is Chico destroys food structure in W. The most thing was still bad. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Hi. Thank you. 
Africa. So before I do that, I'll be going to speak to speak to perform the magic. So I'll help you guys to be patient with me while I get to your table. Thank you very much. So he's going to be going to the table. So I am So this, the essence of this show is to kick malaria out of Nigeria. I, I don't know how well we're doing with that because every year we keep getting millions and millions of cases. Um, but now there's a new vaccine that the FG just rolled out today. They said this vaccine will kind of prevent malaria. Is that something you would explore? I mean, I would definitely explore it. I would wait a while to see, um, you know, wait it out a little to make sure that nobody is like dropping dead from it. But if it turns out to be um, legit, then of course, why not? How do you prevent malaria? Trying not to get bitten by mosquitoes. That's hard. So insecticide. I also move around with um, repellent, insect repellent everywhere. I have one in my purse. I don't come outside without it. So that's how I try. Yeah. Wow, that means you have to treat malaria. Well, um. No, not so much, maybe. We need to fight this thing. Not so much. Not so much, not yeah. So much. That's, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's fine. So I want to ask you a question. Um, how many times do you treat malaria in a year? Probably one. You treat malaria once in a year. So tell me, what are the efforts you put in place to make sure mosquitoes don't come around? Do you know the essence of this foundation and this um, fundraiser is to kick malaria out of Ni Nigeria? So tell me the efforts you put in place to make sure there are no mosquitoes around you. I mean, if you are lucky enough to just have your room filled with AC and everything, I feel like it'd be good. Ah, yeah. even if your gutters are dead. Uh, they won't I enter your house. Like, I feel like they are already, so I don't, I'm not really into that. Anyway, thank you so much, Magic Shani. And as you can see, I'm a professional basketball player. Pretty obvious. I play basketball professionally for the Nigerian children team. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I get that a lot. Uh, I'm a superstar model. I'm a model for children learning. From the age 8 to the world. Yeah, I think you're a best. So, um, I want to see, <laughs> when I see um, your comedians do their thing, I just like to say this. There's one thing about people, especially women, doing sound is very important. I'll, I'll, I'll give you an instance. Okay, you sound funny. Okay. Okay. You sound funny. It's, it's, it's not about... I've been looking at you for... Just tell me, what is it about this f event that gets you, that makes you come back to support a game? You know, we don't have a lot of things like this, awareness for malaria, awareness for cancer. Like if you see, yeah. they're doing cancer, one thing, one thing, they're doing this one, this one. I am always in support of it because we need to, we need to get, we need to, you know, get more awareness. Because a lot of people, people, they will not even, will not know about malaria. They'll so just seek, yes, people, make a shock you. The gay agencies is where they go to kind of villages, go drop a mosquito net to. So now they know, and they're not even conscious of it. Yeah. So events like this, you know, will bring them, um, bring it more into their consciousness, and they're very, very conscious of malaria. It's a lot of work. 
You know, my profession is, I'm an actor, and I prepare, and I'm trained for that, but you know, I also have a heart, and I'm passionate about helping people and, you know, not seeing people suffer, and the fact that I was, you know, I experienced my, my own family member passing away from a disease that doesn't need to be, um, you know, hit close to home, so... I'm just really grateful to be able to say that this is the fifth annual yeah. Laugh Fest. People are coming to be impactful, to laugh, and give back to the community all at the same time. We're trying to, you know, be of change and then, you know, at the same time, entertain ourselves. Ooh.